<laughs> Come down, everyone. Kevin. Just hand these out too. Just one between two. Nice. 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 It's really good to have you all here. So if you like your Mount Bunch Up, what we're going to do, we're going to sing these special songs that Megan and Benjamin had requested. So our first song that we're going to sing today is uh, Take My Life and Let It Be. I believe that. Amen. Our next song is going to be the song that Megan had requested, and it's uh, How Great Is Our God. How great, 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 Shall we say them? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Certainly not. How shall we who have died to sin live any longer in it? Or do you not know that as many as were baptized unto Jesus Christ were baptized unto his death? Therefore we are buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. We all can walk in the newness of life, being buried unto Christ and raised into the dead, uh, into resurrection, into a new life. Uh, the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, it says, If any man or if any woman be in Christ, he or she is a what, everyone? A new creature. Yes, is a new creature. Behold, all things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Those of you have, that have bought new cars in the past, oh, I don't know, five years, or those of you who have bought cars in your life, when you go into the car yard and the car yard says $20,000 on that car, in one year time, one year's time, what happens to the value of that car? Yes, there's a thing called depreciation. How annoying that thing is. When the value of something depreciates, you know, uh, Megan and Benjamin, when you go into the waters of baptism today, your life does not depreciate. The value that you have in Christ does not go down, but it appreciates. That's what I heard something about houses and real estate. It goes up, the value. So the value that you have and the value that Jesus has on your life, it's going to appreciate and go up. <coughs> so it does not depreciate. It stays afloat. Okay. Reasons why they've been I uh, want to get baptized today. Come on. This we're gonna get wet anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've asked them why they want to get baptized and 
the real man e emailed something to me to say on their behalf. And this is what Megan said. I have decided to get baptized today because I oh, no. <laughs> because I love have loved Jesus all my life, and I decided that I want to commit my life to Him. He is my friend, and looking back, I can see how He has guided my life. Yes, I know it's real. I know He has the best interest at heart, and His plans for my life are far better than mine. And that's why Megan wants to be baptized today. Praise the Lord, Megan. And also Benjamin, I asked him the same question, why you want to be baptized today? He says this, I wanted to be baptized because I've loved Jesus all my life, and I just wanted to make a commitment to Him. And I know that He has the best plan for my life, and I want to follow that plan. Here we have our brothers and sisters, two young people that want to follow through with God's plan for their lives. And it's a blessing just to know that they want to start their life fresh with Jesus. I'm just going to invite Alan and Anna up if you want to say a few words. Come this way. <laughs> Thank you. 
seven mile of spike to read that now because it's still happening. Every child may gain knowledge of Jesus Christ. As we try to become acquainted with our Heavenly Father through His Word, angels will draw near us. Our minds will be strengthened. Our characters will be elevated and refined. We shall become more like our Savior. And as we evolve as beautiful and grand and nature, our affections go out past the world. While the Spirit is all and by coming in contact with the infinite through his work. Communion with God through prayer develops the mental and moral capacity. And the spiritual power is strengthened as we cultivate work upon the spiritual things. There are a few more things. I just want John to give us John to see a special item. And then we're going to have the valves, and then we will move into the water. Kevin, if you can read out the three vowels. Okay. And if you can, just say, um, I do. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Whatever you like. Sir. Okay, number one. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord? And do you desire to live your life in a saving relationship with Him? Number two. Do you accept the teachings of the Bible as its mental beliefs of the Seventh day Adventist Church? And do you pledge by God's grace to live your life in harmony with these teachings. Good. Number three. Do you desire to be baptized as a public expression of your belief in Jesus Christ, to be accepted into the fellowship of the Seventh-day Adventist Church? It's been a privilege to know Benjamin. It's been a privilege to know you. I'll find it to the church. It's an absolute study. And today he's making a, a commitment to follow Jesus and his will. He's making a commitment to follow him all the way to the waters of baptism. And as he rides, raises him to a new life, he wants to follow him in that way. So Benjamin, it's your my privilege to now. Just checking. <laughs> Benjamin, it's my privilege. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Take me to the water to be baptized. Bury me with Jesus, the crucified. Plunge me in the fountain and may I rise. What a joy and blessing to be baptized as a testimony of a work inside. Jesus' blood has cleansed me and to new life he me rise I've come to the water to be baptized to be baptized Take me to the water to be baptized. Bury me with Jesus, the crucified. Plunge me in the fountain. Oh